It's currently day 100, and I have been wanting to tell everybody about this new prototype garden that I've been testing. As a matter of fact, this is from Spider Farmer. It's the new G12 model, and I'm excited about it because I've been super happy about it. As a matter of fact, since the uh, most popular U.S. hydroponic garden company went out of business, everybody has been thinking, what do we want to do now, and what can we do about getting a better garden, or at least something that will help us out in the absence of a local market company. But Spider Farmer has been on the market for quite a while, and uh, they specialize in LED lights. As a matter of fact, the uh, light on this one has been, should I say, maybe a little better than what the U.S. companies were producing. I would tend to think so, and it's only 36 watts. There are 12 grow sites on the uh, deck, and typically people will oftentimes plant only three microdorf plants. I started out with six plants and had gobs of tomatoes. Uh, today is day 100, and I decided to move back and remove two plants and I still have four tomato plants in here. The massive uh, six liter grow bowl is bigger than anything that I have right now and it makes refilling less often. And as a matter of fact, uh, the light goes from about uh, six and a half inches to 21 inches above the top of that deck. The controls on the front of the deck are simple to use. Uh, it does include a phone app, and if you would like to use that, it is uh, easily to pair. But with I'm doing the uh, standalone mode, and I've been quite happy. On the left, you see the uh, time. Uh, the uh, current room temperature, 75 degrees, and the humidity level is currently uh, very low, around 11%. The number of days, 100, is how long these tomatoes have been growing, and the 14 days are between uh, nutrient cycles. Around one week ago, I picked 28 tomatoes, and now uh, I am coming back, and there's several new ripe tomatoes. And as a matter of fact, in addition to those tomatoes, I am getting just dozens of new blossoms, and so I'm quite happy about that also. So if you're looking for a good recommendation uh, for an indoor countertop hydroponic garden. This uh, recirculating hydroponic garden is uh, doing quite well and has outpaced all my expectations. One of the interesting things that I like is that the uh, grow bowl is uh, easy to take off. As a matter of fact, I can just come in and pick up the entire bowl and lift it and take it off if I want. It has contact points on the bottom and as soon as I set this back on the internal pump starts pumping again because the contact point on the bottom of the bowl and this base is where that electrical connection is. So in terms of simplicity this bowl also is smooth on the inside, and it's easy to scrub and clean. And the intelligent uh, display tells me how often I need to get in there and uh, dump the bowl and refresh nutrients, as well as uh, possibly clean it out. 
and rinse out the uh, sponge for the pump. I've put additional information in the uh, details on this video, you know, if you're looking for more information. But this is certainly one of my favorite gardens that I've tested. And I've tested quite a few of gardens, and this is quickly becoming one of my favorites.